Welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, today we're going to be talking about rewards um, and how I use rewards to help develop routines and habits so I don't have to think about them anymore. Oh, we are having an issue. Hmm. Let's see. Sorry about this, everyone. We are having issues. Why are we having issues? There should not be issues. Um, hang on one sec. Let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Because, you know, technical problems and me, we're really good friends. <laughs> All right, so I'm in here and I need to go to this. And then this one. And we're going with this. Is that right? Oh, the details, the details. I'm going to need a big reward for this. <laughs> All right. I seem to be there. Okay. We are good, I believe, now. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We're good. Let me, let me see if I do this real quick. Is that going to redo it? I don't know. It looks like I'm live and then it looks like I'm not. So we're going to go with it. And if it doesn't work, we'll cover this topic again another day. But rewards. You want to reward yourself for effort, not results. So you can't um, get the same kind of feedback loop if you only reach your goal. But if you work towards a goal every day um, or, you know, every day for a week or a month or however long you've decided that your reward period will be and you've taken that consistent action, that's what you want to reward because some days are going to be better than others. Some days you're going to get a great effect, sometimes not so much. And it's not about that. It's about the action, the behavior and the feedback loop rewards behavior, not results. So if you just fluke, I don't know, ran into the perfect client one day in the line at the grocery store and you make a bunch of money, that's not really the same thing as setting up all your processes and systems and consistent marketing efforts to get you to um, a, a more consistent flow of clients, right? And so we want to help get um, your brain believing that you can do something consistently and take you seriously so you don't have to think about it anymore. So we all have tons of habits. We, I've talked about them often. We brush our teeth every day and we tend to do it in the same way. And there must be a reward from that. And that is less time at the dentist or you go to the dentist, but less time in the chair for the cleanings, right? That's the real reward. It has nothing to do with the fact that your teeth will stay in your head the whole time. It's how much time with your mouth open at the dentist you're saving yourself in the long term. So when you consider starting some new um, habit or breaking an old one, you have to have a reward for that consistent behavior that gets you working towards that change, that writing in your brain, rewriting in your brain so that you end up with some muscle memory and some frequency memory and re, um, reestablishes the, the dopamine in your brain regularly for the effort, not the result. So what I do is I have a little habit tracker. I use one of those like keyboard calendar things. And I just write the few habits that I'm trying to develop or that I'm going to reward myself for that good behavior. Um, and I put an X next to each one. And at the end of the week, each X is... Uh, each time I complete five within the week, it is $5. So it's basically a dollar an X. And that goes into a fund I have that I can see growing. I can visually see it growing. Um, 
And once it gets to the end of a project or that habit is solidified, I come up with the time frames ahead of time. If I do it every day for 30 days, I get a reward at the end of that 30 days. And the money in that pot that's been collecting over the month gets to be spent on something beautiful. For me, it's a, I call it my beauty fund. It has nothing to do with just makeup and stuff, but I seek beauty wherever I go. So I buy art, I buy music, I buy a new sweater, I buy some makeup, whatever it is, but it has to be something in line with my value of beauty, seeking beauty. So that's how I work it. Some of them are longer term. Some I don't get till I finish a big project. I just recently um, treated myself to this beautiful Indian pot I've had my eye on for a long time. And um, I had the opportunity to purchase it before I actually finished all the things because it was on a super sale. And so I bought it, but I didn't open it until I had finished that project that I was giving myself the reward for. Um, the other thing I want to um, I guess warn you about is picking a reward that is not in line with the habit you're trying to create. So if you are trying to get healthier or fit, do not reward yourself with bad food. <laughs> um, instead reward yourself with something else. Um, the bad food can, you can eat it whenever you want to, but it can't be a reward because that gives mixed messages to your brain and that's not good. Um, so always consider, is it in line with your values and what you're trying to achieve with that habit in the first place? All right. Let me know your experience of using rewards. And, you know, my biggest two hints are plan ahead and, um, have something that visually grows as you, um, make the efforts. All right. See you next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.